The 10th of October 2018 T10 hours 5 minutes and 7 seconds point zero nine six Z business leaders are unable to plan properly for potentially huge disruption from Brexit because of excessive government secrecy, the chief auditor says. Companies have paid a heavy price for ministers' refusal to consult them fully, an inquiry by MPs was told, a stance motivated by a fear of provoking concern about the trouble ahead. The criticism came as the head of the National Audit Office, now, revealed that civil servants are relying on his reports to find out what is going on in their own departments. The 10th of October 2018 T10 hours 0 minutes and 55 seconds, 306 Z The U2 singer, Bono, has called on artists to celebrate the romance of Europe during a visit of the European Parliament. While he did not mention Brexit, he said, As an artist, I think I probably have a role to play in romancing the idea of Europe and seeing it as something warm-blooded, said Bono. Europe is a thought that needs to become a feeling and I am, as an artist, in service of that, describing himself as European as well as Irish Bono suggested that Europe had lost out for the lack of the kind of positive artistic treatment given to America in movies and songs. If you think about the mythology of America and you think about Hollywood and how Hollywood perpetuated the idea of the American dream. When you think about artists involved in the project that is Europe, it's not that many, he said. I think we need more as people are questioning Europe. The 10th of October 2018 T8 hours 52 minutes and 47 seconds, 520 Z The government is seeking emergency workers to help the country cope with the disruption of Brexit. Resilience advisors paid up to £50,000 are being appointed to a Whitehall division responsible for dealing with civil emergencies. They will be tasked with tackling any disruption caused by Brexit, whether the UK leaves the EU with or without a deal. The 10th of October 2018 T8 hours 20 minutes and 8 seconds, 870 Z mental health treatment is still failing six years after the government first promised dramatic change, the health secretary has admitted. Matt Hancock acknowledged huge gaps in services, despite a 2012 act pledging parity of care with physical health, saying, it's still way off where we need to be. Last night, in a world first, Theresa May appointed the first ever minister for suicide prevention as part of a push to reduce the number of people taking their own lives. 10th of October 2018 T7 hours 54 minutes and 1 second, 170 Z David Davis has stepped up his assault on Theresa May's Brexit plan, warning the Tories will lose the next election unless it is dumped. The electoral consequences could be dire, without a U-turn, because it would be obvious to voters that the Prime Minister's promises had been broken, the former Brexit secretary said. The warning comes in an explosive letter sent to all Conservative MPs in which Mr. Davis demands a looser Canada-style trade relationship with the EU. The 10th of October 2018 T7 hours 53 minutes and 28 seconds, 956 Z Michael Gove and the rest of the UK cabinet have skipped a key international summit on climate change a day after a landmark UN report warned that urgent action was needed to avoid global warming disaster. Mr. Gove's department confirmed the Environment Secretary was not able to attend the meeting of EU Environment Ministers in Luxembourg, which is specifically about fighting climate change by cutting CO2 emissions, as well as other environmental matters such as biodiversity. Though the meeting was attended by Mr. Gove's top counterparts from countries including France, Germany, the Netherlands, and Sweden, he instead sent one of his junior ministers, Therese Coffey, to cover for him, with no Member of the UK Cabinet present at the summit, the 10th of October 2018 T7 hours 53 minutes and 2 seconds, 283Z Theresa May has appointed the first ever Minister for Suicide Prevention as part of a £1.8 million push to reduce the number of people taking their own lives. In what is thought to be a world first, Ms May announced that the health minister, Jackie Doyle Price, will lead efforts to end the stigma that prevents people from seeking help for their mental health. The Prime Minister also pledged £1.8 million to ensure the Samaritan's helpline remains free for the next four years, returning to her pledge to tackle burning injustice as prevalent in society, which was set out in her first speech at Downing Street.
the 10th of October 2018 T7 hours 52 minutes and 23 seconds, 906 Z Britain could face turmoil not seen since the poll tax riots if the government pushes ahead with a national rollout of the universal credit scheme, Gordon Brown has warned. The former Prime Minister described the welfare reforms as a cruel and vindictive experiment that will exacerbate the convulsions of Brexit and risk public disorder. His intervention comes as charities warn extending the coverage of universal credit across the country would trigger a surge in food bank usage. Reports have suggested millions of families could be left more than £200 a month worse off when the new system begins its national rollout in July.